Hi everyone, I'm Jonal Page and I've got this little uh, beautiful fairy that needs a home. So I'm going to <laughs> make something for it here. I've uh, went through all my stashes and started fussy cutting all kinds of stuff. This is from a calendar from 2001. So I've got many <laughs> images of fairies that will need a home. Today, this one. So I'm going to start by, I just want to eliminate the white. I don't like it as a background, as a base for my background. And I'm taking chalk pastels and just going over the page like this. And I will activate it with a baby wipe in a minute. It's just a fast way to put some color on your page. Okay, maybe a little bit of this one, just for variation. Most of it is going to get covered, so I'm really not concerned. I need a little bit more of this color. And I'm also overlapping and letting some of it mix. Okay, so just a baby wipe. And you can decide if you want to go like this, like, like in circles. The only thing is that you do need to uh, change places on the baby wipe because the paper sucks out the moisture out of the baby wipe. So as you can see, some of it is blending some of it is not i don't care as i said most of it is gonna get covered i could also have uh, smeared some um, acrylic paint but i wanted to go with this i'm spraying a little bit of water just to help this uh, <laughs> along and the paper is not watercolor paper it's just a um, thick paper 240 gram paper and that's it now i like it but some areas are need more a uh, color so i'm just going to add i can also decide to leave it as is if i like this uh, Let's say distressed look, but I'm going to just wipe a little bit. Really doesn't matter, at least to me. <laughs> so, finished with the chalk pastels. Okay, so I, I wanted to stencil, and I figured this stencil will work nicely with what I have here. And so, that's what I'm going to start now. I want to start lightly and I have got, I've took out some uh, acrylic paints, I've got antique gold, golden brown, I've got forest green, I've got bright orange, I've got here chestnut, whatever, really doesn't matter, as long as you like the color, it doesn't matter what it's called. So I'm putting this and they are very old so I've got some acrylic booger, that's the only thing I can call it. And I'm taking a makeup sponge, dabbing and tapping lightly. Very small amount of paint. I could probably have done this a more lightly with distress inks and a makeup brush 
but I wanted to use the acrylic paints because they are more accessible and to to buy and there are you can buy cheap craft paint it doesn't have to be anything fancy and that's why I'm using this and I'm really doing it lightly and I'm not going to do each time the whole stencil like here I have only done this side I don't care it's ju I'm just now building up the layers of my uh, background that's it and as you can see I'm going about it very very lightly yeah I think almost no paint on my sponge which is how I like it right now <laughs> yeah let's put more here just spreading it around quite randomly and I'm going to add I think a little bit of the orange here and a little bit of this. This one is almost, almost, but no, uh, identical to this one. So I need to see how it works. So I'm letting this to mix because I don't uh, want the too much of a bright orange and now I'm just going to continue stenciling away same stencil just going to randomly spread it out gonna take time <laughs> okay next background is building just by stenciling the same thing over and over again yeah Just a little bit more here. I love it. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Now I want to add, let's be brave, a little bit of green to the whole thing here. And again, I'm mixing the colors. I don't want it completely green. I'm just building up on what I have. Okay. 
예. <웃음> When something works, it just so much fun. Mixing. So, I'm going to continue stenciling. I thought maybe to go and stencil also with this color. I'm not sure about it. So, I am going to just keep on with this and we'll see where it gets me if it will, if I feel it needs more. Or if I will keep it to the end. Like after I've got my image. Let's see, just for some kind of reference. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so I need more of this color. That's definitely needed. Each layer just adds more interest to the page. At least that's what I think. little bit more green here I'm really trying to finish up all this old paint I've bought a, a stack of tissue paper that I'm thinking to dilute all this all the acrylic paint and just go wild on the tissue paper so I will have lots and lots of a uh, collage paper to play with. I really like this color. Turned out better than I thought. Yeah, I'm thinking that my image probably needs to go, no, I still need something in more in the background and then I need to add more details so to incorporate the image into the page and not just be floating in the middle of the page. So, I I know I wanted some words and I've picked this a uh, stencil beforehand and I'm not sure I just there are po a lot of positive uh, words here so I thought this would be nice to have and it will give more uh, Let's say visual texture to the page. Now I'm not sure about the color. I want it very subtle in the background. And kind of <laughs> weary of what I'm introducing now to the page. Not the same family of colors, but I need to be brave. Let's see, I think I'll test it before I'm applying it to the page. Let's take some paper. Let's see, this is iced spruce. Okay, gray. This one is weathered wood. 
I'm hoping this one has a little bit more yeah a little bit more of a blue tint I don't know yeah I'm gonna be brave and I'm going to use this the weathered wood and maybe not with this brush maybe 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 a makeup sponge and being very gentle about it because it needs to stay in the background and not take away from what I have okay so started to too much a little bit too much on my sponge I need to be careful let's see yeah I like it so I'm not going to do the whole stencil and I don't care what the words it's just for added interest and as I said visual texture in the background nothing else no one needs to read it it's just one more element I could have gotten any kind of stencil other stencil I could have I picked leaves I could have picked butterflies it's really <laughs> doesn't matter I really love text in the back and it doesn't even have to be a stencil I could have taken all kinds of stamps and st stamp on my page which is still an option I can always get some stamps and add to the mix sometimes I go gently sometimes I go a little bit more um, strongly so some look faded and some look more uh, defined I'm uh, moving the stencil so again there won't be too much of um, so it won't be completely organized into blocks I hope I'm explaining myself <laughs> yeah something here is missing for me let's do yeah and okay I'm in love with this uh, background what can I say and I'm thinking that I'm just going to go around the page and just add this color which works beautifully with this page I can take this out it's bothering me okay I need to remember that this color works so well with this full colors. Okay, a little bit more in the corner, maybe a little bit more here. Yeah, not gentle now just adding where I think it's 
needed in love in love with this page already okay let's bring on the fairy yay wow okay so i'm just going to put some a uh, glue in the back and let's see i think i'll take I'm using uh, this, it's a very strong uh, glue, you don't need it for paper, as you can see the calendar in the back. I'm using it just because it has a fine uh, opening, so it's easy to go around the image. Into the small details. Okay. Let's see. I want it a little bit more to the left. I don't like it center stage. Yeah. It's going on here. And now, where did I put this, <laughs> this stencil? Here, here we go. Okay, so now I want to do uh, more of this, but they will go a little bit over the, uh, the image. So it won't be out of context out floating on the page so now i'm adding a little bit of this brown and let's take more of this and maybe even more of the this and i'll just play with what i have let's see mixing the colors i don't want it to be too much of the same color and again just going uh, quite lightly but i can always add more to the mix if i feel it's needed can always go over it yes okay so i think here i need to go more brown otherwise it disappears too much into my page so i was afraid to use uh, the complete brown maybe i will even have to add more uh, darker brown to the mix let's see i don't want to cover the image just go overlap a little bit and I'm going to take some darker brown okay let's see maybe just so it would be look a little bit different yes so here in the front it needs to be darker even maybe more dark than this side <laughs> we'll see i'll just continue layering 
Yeah. I'm just trying to add a little bit of more than one color to the mix just so it look it would look less flat and more interesting. I'm thinking I need more here. Just continuing adding. <laughs> if it's boring, scroll forward. What can I say? starting to take shape that's what, <laughs> what I can say it's starting to take shape just love it I just need another what's it called I think pistol or something I'm I'm sorry I'm I don't remember what's this a uh, thorn uh, is called yeah I love it Okay, I'm leaving it be. <laughs> I just feel like I need a butterfly. So I'm going to look for a butterfly or I'm thinking, I do I want a stamp? Do I want <laughs> some uh, stencil? Not sure. Let's see. I think I need a stencil. Where the heck did I put the stencil with the butterflies? Okay, found it. I hope it will work here. Okay, so. And I think I'll do it with the same, uh, what was it that I used, the ice spruce or weathered wood, weathered wood I think, okay, maybe not this three, not sure, I'll use this, yeah. 
and I'm going to let some of them are out of the area of the page don't care Mm, can hardly be seen but that's okay maybe just one here yes okay so now I can't stop I'm sorry I'm sorry I love it I'm keeping doing it yes just one more and I promise I'm done <laughs> that's it that's it leave it be don't add anything stop <laughs> okay I'm finished for this page I'm just in love with it thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments down below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now